Hi, my name is Leif Douch, and I'm a Deputy Attorney General for the State of California. I'm running for District Attorney of San Francisco to restore some accountability to our criminal justice system. Whether that means holding accountable our city leaders for the homelessness and mental health crisis playing out on our streets, whether that means cracking down on the organized rings that are breaking into our cars by the thousands, or whether that means holding law enforcement accountable when they engage in misconduct. Now, I've been passionate about these issues my entire life, and it started with my mom. She was a nurse at the local juvenile hall down along the central coast of California where I grew up, and she was just one of those saints that makes the system run. She would work night shifts and come back in the morning as my sister and I were getting up and getting ready to go to school, and she would tell us about the kids that she was working with, the very difficult circumstances they came from and the issues they were dealing with. And one day when I was eight years old, my mom came home and said, it's not enough for me just to tell you about these kids. We've got to bring them into our home. We've got to become foster parents. We took in a dozen foster kids over the course of a decade, eventually adopting two kids, my younger brother Ian and my little sister Alyssa. So from the time I was eight years old, I saw the good, the bad, and the ugly of our criminal justice system. I saw the impact of race, of trauma, of poverty, but I also saw amazing people like my mom and her colleagues working inside the justice system to make sure it was more fair and more equitable. And it was that inspiration that took me from an organic farm in Ojai, California, to Yale, to Harvard Law School, to working for President Obama's campaigns in 2008 and 2012, making sure that everyone's voice could be heard in the political process, to clerking on the Ninth Circuit here in San Francisco, serving as the president of our Juvenile Probation Commission, and for the last seven years, working as a deputy attorney general for the state here in our San Francisco office, where I prosecuted over 400 criminal cases from trials to arguing in the California Supreme Court and the Ninth Circuit. I'm also a supervisor of a team of prosecutors, making me the only candidate in this race who is both a prosecutor and who manages a team of prosecutors on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I mention my experience and my passion for these issues because we're really at an inflection point in San Francisco. It's the first time in 110 years where we have an open seat race for district attorney where all of us on a clean slate get to decide what sort of DA's office do we want? What sort of criminal justice system do we want? Now, four of the issues that I have been focused on my entire campaign are the homelessness crisis, the auto burglary epidemic, uh, the environmental injustice playing out at the Hunters Point shipyard, and the scourge of sexual violence here in San Francisco. On homelessness and mental health, we're gonna take Juvenile Hall and turn it in to a mental health justice center. The facility right now is 80% empty. The Board of Supervisors has voted to shut it down in the next year and a half. Let's turn it into a 150-bed facility for those on our streets battling serious mental illness. Car break-ins. There were 31,000 reported car break-ins in 2017, only 500 arrests, and the DA's office only took one case to trial in the entire year, and they lost it. That's why I'm going to start an auto burglary task force of five prosecutors working with the police, working with the sheriff's department to go after the organized rings that are responsible for the vast majority of these car break-ins. And if that's com that commitment, it's earned me the endorsements of the San Francisco firefighters, the Deputy Sheriff's Association, and over 150 other groups in the city that are concerned about that problem. The scourge of sexual violence. Uh, there were 757 reported sexual assaults in 2017 in San Francisco, and yet the DA's office only got nine convictions after trial. That's 1.3%. We're committed to starting an online rape kit tracking portal so that survivors of sexual assault know the whereabouts and the status of their case in real time. It's that commitment that's earned me the endorsement of the Democratic Women in Action, of Gabriela Lopez on the school board, of Fiona Ma, our state treasurer, and many others. Finally, we have an environmental injustice playing out at the Hunters Point shipyard with the soil contamination saga, and yet the current district attorney disbanded our environmental justice unit. Well, I'm going to bring that unit back and say uh, the tweeting isn't enough, the marching isn't enough. We need that environmental justice unit to really be leaders on this issue. And it's that commitment that's earned me ranked choice endorsements from the Sierra Club and the League of Conservation Voters. It's this experience as a prosecutor and these ideas that have earned me the endorsements over of, of 150 groups and elected officials and community organizations from the Sierra Club and League of Conservation Voters to the firefighters uh, and the deputy sheriffs, Fiona Maher, state treasurer and leaders on the school board and in the state assembly. I would be honored to earn your support on November 5th or earlier if you vote by mail. Thank you. Thank you.